my first ever surgery. Wish me luck. Oh. Take me back home. I don't want to do surgery. Hello everyone. I hope you guys are safe and healthy. It's kind of hard for me right now to tell you everything that's happening because you were always there for me and through all the struggles I went, you were there and I always knew that I have this huge support and love from your side and even though we can be very far from each other, I always felt your love and support. I'm not a person who likes to be very dramatic and who likes to complain but I also realized that it's kind of stupid to keep everything to myself and not share when something important is happening in my life I never wanted to do surgery just because I need it and if there's a chance that I can go through a rehab without any <laughs> these things that goes inside of your body then I would prefer that so I was always like oh surgery is like like when there is no other choices you know when it's like the last step like there's no way you can feel you can get better but surgery and so what happened I injured myself uh, three years ago maybe even more when I was learning some acrobatic tricks and since then I kept injuring myself during the tours with Now United my shoulder was dislocated around five times and recently it happened right before the world tour and I didn't tell anyone about it only few people knew except my family also so my family, maybe my best friend and maybe two more friends and that's it my shoulder was broken my last dislocation broke the bone and doctors said that you are not allowed, like it's forbidden for you to dance. It's a, like you're not allowed to put your arms up. And I said, okay, I'm going to Wave Reflector for 13 shows, over 15 flights, um, over three months. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> uh, so my doctors they didn't like it but they said well it's your choice but just be aware that if your shoulder dislocates again you're gonna have to do another surgery which is gonna be way more serious where we will have to work with your bone and cut your shoulder like fully to put stuff inside of your bone and this kept me so much but it's like i couldn't miss the biggest world tour i've ever had in my life you know so i didn't want to let down simon and the whole team i didn't want to let down now united and everyone you know so i felt like i should try at least and if something happens i'm always able to go back home and do the surgery but i just didn't want to lose this chance it was very hard to cover it because i always had to wear like a thing like a cast i told people that i might need a surgery in the future and my shoulder is hurting but i didn't tell anyone that i was actually dislocated but i don't see a point to hide it anymore i think some of you also saw on social media that i've been wearing the cast or i've been doing the tape thing it was painful it, like i went through so much pain guys but i can't say that it was like terrifying and it was like insanely horrible like it was painful but i think it was even worse when i was emotionally upset or tired and when i'm not happy here then my shoulder would be like turn turn and like do pulses or like ah, it, it, this is when it was actually like um, in pain i went through la boot camp and it was kind of fine i guess it was okay i think I did good. I think I saved myself as much as I could. I told them that I couldn't do every single dance so put me out of some stuff where it's a lot of like arms up because I was afraid that anytime I can put my arm up my shoulder can easily dislocate but I made it. I went on tour. I did 11 shows in Brazil. I did two shows in Portugal which is 13 in total. We did all of the other uh, rehearsals, performances, interviews. Um, I don't know crazy stuff I will be honest I'm very proud of myself but I kept in my mind like oh yeah when I go back home I will have to do surgery because all doctors said this is the only way but what if everything has changed I was hoping 
like a stupid kid but I just like to think positively <laughs> positive <laughs> when I had a chance to go back home I flew like first flight I saw I was like oh my god I'm going home like I cried in the plane because of happiness of being like I'm gonna be safe soon I'm gonna be healthy I'm gonna be fixed so when I went home right next day I went to do MRI scan which showed that nothing has changed that I'm still injured that my shoulder is still broken that all of the muscles that were torn they're torn and I have to do surgery I went to doctor and they said, yeah, like, don't worry, there is nothing crazy, which the doctor is just amazing. I'm very happy I'm going for a surgery with him. He said that um, everything that you went through is like, it's very impressive, but you have to take care of yourself. So this is actually the only way is to do the surgery. There's two ways to do surgery, either when they cut your shoulder fully or when they do like two like two needles like huge like this needles are going inside so you have two holes and they're sewing things inside instead of doing it like open he said i don't really see a point to put like actual um i don't like bolts inside of you so he said um let's try at least let's start with the sewing thing with two needles that's coming inside of your shoulder the surgery is around one hour and it's like super simple for us but you have to understand that it's like there's always going to be a risk that your shoulder can pop out again after i'm preparing myself for hard times this is my last time when i actually can do this for the next two months maybe three maybe four i don't know how long it's gonna take me but right now it seems like i'm fine but i have this like fear that oh my god what if it's gonna dislocate but i know i have a surgery so like cares anymore <laughs> i am scared i'm very scared and i'm going for surgery in 10 minutes and i mean i'm going to the hospital and i am freaking out especially because they're gonna put me down uh not put me down oh, sorry this is not what i meant <laughs> they're gonna um, do anesthesia to me basically i'm gonna fall asleep and this is what scares me a lot like i'm so scared what if i'm not gonna wake up what if i don't know what if i'm gonna wake up but become crazy or something what if it's just not gonna work and i'm gonna feel everything on my shoulder i don't know it's just oh, it scares me when i think of it and i don't want to cry i don't want to stress because i just calmed down myself my mom is gonna be there for me but um i'm gonna stay in the hospital for another day and so i'm gonna disappear from social media for like two days this is my fun story <laughs> I'm glad I went through all of this and I don't regret it because it didn't hurt myself, you know, it didn't become worse, which is good. I think the tour went amazing and I experienced everything with everyone and I did have so much support from all Uniters and from all now United team and yeah, I'm very glad that everyone was there for me, even they didn't know the full story and they didn't know that I actually dislocated my shoulder like two weeks before I came. I should have think about this earlier. I should have think that when my shoulder dislocated like fourth time, like I should think of a surgery, but I just never had time for it. You know, like it just got better and then we're going on tour and then something else happens. And then I just, I just didn't take it that serious, which is like my fault. And my parents, they would always be like, very scared but then it's also very expensive guys so like i had to save money for it and yeah it's just it's just very hard and my parents were always there for me and um i feel disappointed that i'm like kind of letting them down like i should have taken care of more of myself even though like i'm their kid they were always like should we do this and that and they would take me to doctors and then they would like try to make me happy so they were just helping me as much as they could I decided to take you with me and show you everything and I don't know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna vlog so then maybe I feel more happy I feel more relaxed <laughs> um, I'm not gonna take you to like operation room but I'm gonna take you to the hospital hopefully they're not gonna forbid me like to do this stuff hospital vlog my first ever surgery wish me luck oh, oh my god I wanna go home Mom, take me home. <laughs> this is my bed. <laughs> this is where I'm gonna stay for the next two days. And there's one more woman. I don't know who is she, but she just left for the surgery. I'm so scared. She's gonna come back and being out. Like, she's gonna sleep there. Oh my god. 
guys they just brought diaper like this thing like a mat so if you pee it's gonna suck in everything and they're gonna do the same thing for me like i didn't pee myself since i was like five or six and now it's gonna happen again oh my god take me back home i don't want to do surgery anymore <laughs> in a few hours time. came to take me home mm.